Hello everybody, this is a new series of videos I'm gonna make uh, from now, I mean a couple of videos, but uh, today I'm gonna make one, but it's kind of a series of videos, and uh, I'm gonna show um, records released first in this video from 1990, from 1991, uh, sorry, 1990 till 1999, on vinyl, only on vinyl. And then later I'll make another video about a different day from 2000 to 2009. And then another video from 2010 till 2019. Okay, uh, I will do that uh, of course on a different day. But here I'm going to show one heavy metal record for each year. You know, a real heavy metal. Okay, I'm not going to show Painkiller or Fear of the Dark or more the well-known... Um, uh, records from the 90s. I'm going to show maybe some stuff that for sure you know, a lot of them you know, and maybe some you didn't know. Let's start with 1990, and here we have maybe the last very, very good Chastain album. Of course, they made some other ones too that I like, but this is For Those Who Dare. This is, it still has the classic Chastain sound. Of course, still with the original Leone uh, vocalist here. Great, great, great heavy metal album. Okay, now we go to 1991. James Bird's Atlantis Rising. Amazing, totally underrated record in my opinion. This is a masterpiece of melodic heavy metal. If you like Fifth Angel, because this guy is from Fifth Angel, then you like this one too. It's so incredible good on Roadrunner Records. But there are so many so many records released back then. And this they, a lot of people just missed out on this one. A killer, killer release. Okay, now we are going to Hungary. Actually, we're going I'm gonna show something about this band, Ossian. Kitores from um from from Hungary, of course, from the Ossian from 1992. Again, a classic uh, heavy metal record, really. It's just great. It's got some hard rock too, but it's more heavy metal. It's with Paxi and Dre on vocals. I always liked very much. He's an amazing vocalist. Great album from 1992. Okay, 93, we have a Spanish band that really became famous later on. Maybe one of the most popular Spanish bands from the late 90s and, to, and during the 2000s and 2010s. And I'm talking about Avalanche. And this is their debut album. They were still singing in English. Ready to the Glory from 1993. It's a very rare album, very rare, rare release, of course. But it's, uh, it's just a, a killer... Um, like German heavy metal sound, really, it sounds more like German than Spanish, baby. But anyway, it's just a great heavy metal record. I love this album from '93. I discovered this actually thanks to a radio program, you know, El, El Pirata. You know, in '93, he played some songs from this album, and then, of course, I had to buy it. Okay, '94, uh, with a Canadian band. This is a totally underrated band. They started in the 90s. And this came out in 94. Only this is a re-release on vinyl. But this album originally came out on 19, in 1994. And this is just uh, one of the best 90s power metal albums. You know, it's pure metal, traditional metal, the way we like it. Hanker. You know, with, with the album In Our Will, World. Canadian band, very very good band. Okay, uh, then for '95, I didn't find any vinyl really in my collection that that is worth showing. Or, of course, black metal and dead metal, yes, but not so much heavy thrash or heavy metal. So I'm gonna show three CDs instead that came out in '95. I'm cheating a little bit. Blitz Rick, this is a, a, a really underrated record on Holy Trinity. Because they, of course, came back in the 90s, Bleach Rick. And they did some cool things in the 90s. Like 10, for example. Running Wild with Masquerade. Amazing, amazing album from 95. This album made us very happy, you know, because we, we had hope that traditional heavy metal would never die thanks to this type of releases. And also, this one was a newcomer back then. Nocturnal Rites. 
when they were playing pure heavy metal. Later they changed more into kind of a power metal, Euro power metal, in a time of blood and fire. This was my maybe my favorite album from 1995. Underneath this video you will see a top 15 from 1995. That's a video I made in the past. You can see a lot of great releases from 1995. In 96, this album came out, first on CD, but later on picture disc, a heavy metal drill, Metal Lucifer. I bought the CD in Amsterdam, I still remember that. It was like in, an, in one of those Kalverstraat, you know, like an, it was a record shop there. I bought it there, the CD. It was a Japanese edition. I, I didn't know that, Metal Lucifer. And then I brought them home and they were incredible. Traditional heavy metal, very much influenced by the new wave of British heavy metal. I mean, heavy metal drill by Metal Lucifer. A great, great album. Another band that kept traditional heavy metal alive back then. And here we have a very cool release. This came out in 97. This is their Sinners in the Hands of Angry Gods by Lordian Guard. And this is just a two band member, uh, two bands, two uh, people in the band, you know, members, only two members. One was uh, the guy behind Warlord, you know, from, from the US, and his wife. And, and his wife actually died, his wife was uh, Viona Shire, and she does the vocals on here. It's a great epic heavy metal album, it's amazing. And William Chamis, Chamis he was the, um, you know, he did the guitars and, and a lot of the other instruments. They made, this is the second album. They made one more album that I have on CD. But this is Sinners in the Hands of Angry God. If you like the band Wonderland, or you like the Italians, Wonderland, or you like uh, Warlord, of course, you know, you should check out this. It's it's great, great, great release. I really like this. Okay, then in 98, this band, one of my favorite bands, Sacred Steel, came out with their second full-length album, War Gods of Metal. First it came out on CD, and I think a little bit later on vinyl. And I think it came out at the same time, maybe, because it's on 98 too here. But uh, really, really, really good album this. It's amazing, so many great songs. War Gods of Metal, Tonight the Witch is Right, um, Carnage Rules the Fields of Death, Army of Metalheads, Battle Cry, of course it's a cover song by Omen, uh, By Steel We Rule, Crusaders of the Metal Blade, because they got signed to Metal Blade Records, because it's like a homage to uh, Metal Blade Records, and Heavy Metal to the End, a great, great album, great band too, I saw them live a couple of times in the early days, you know, when they, record, they released the first album, I was actually a band and, uh, uh, member from the fan club, you know, back in, uh, like, before the first album came out, I bought a shirt, later Reborn in Steel came out, the debut album, and then later in 98, this one came out. It was, like, totally amazing. Okay. Now, the last one from 1999, probably could be my favorite of all, because of all the ones I showed, because this is amazing, I mean... I already made an Udo video. Oh, I just said Udo. Anyway, this one. Udo. Holy God. What a great, great album. Riders of Beyond. Shout it out. Thunder in the Tower. I mean, this is just a killer, killer release from, from 1999 that everybody should own. This is as good as the first albums by Udo. UDO. You know, check them out. Okay, this is the stuff I want to show, but I'm quickly going to show a couple more things. I'm listening now to this album by Hammerfall. This was my favorite album from 1997. My favorite heavy metal album from 1997. <coughs> I mean, really good. Plus, I watched a couple of movies. I watched Ha Llegado El Aguila, The Eagle Has Landed. This is a great movie. It's, it's really, really good. It's from the early 70s. And it's, uh, you know, they're trying to... Uh, kidnap uh, Churchill, you know, they, they go, the Germans go there, you know, to a holiday kind of place where he's going to, where he's going to be, you know, Churchill, and then finally, um, you know, they, they're trying, you know, they're trying to kidnap him, and this is very good, this is with Michael Caine and Donald Sutherland, an amazing movie, really, I really, really enjoy this, this movie, VHS, but very good. 
I also watched with my daughter and my wife. I rewatched because I watched this. I mean, I have this. I watched this already. You know, when they came out, of course. But and did you know, guys, that on this one, Gremlins Two, a Slayer has a song. You know, the, the Angel of Death is on here by Slayer. Also, you can hear Damn Jankies, and you can hear Fate No More. I don't know if you if you if you guys knew that. I totally forgot it. Or when I listened, watched this for the first time. I don't know when this came out actually. Maybe in the late eighties or something. I totally totally didn't know that these songs were in this movie. But of course, this one is the famous ones out of the two and my favorites. Gremlins One. It's an amazing movie. This one. I mean, it's always been my favorite by uh, from eighty four. Great great Steven Spielberg. I think it's Steven Spielberg. Yes. This comes in a nice slipcase, see? And this I saw the other day on Saturday, and this is the Diamond Head DVD, To the Devil His Due. And this is from nine, from 2005. This is when they came back with this new vocalist. I made a little note, you know. Um, yeah, it's a great life DVD with the, the musicians that made all we all will be reveals and that was the first diamond head album since death and progress that came out in 93 but the drummer is still the original one and of course the guitar player is the original one and this is just great it's just just great and nick tart he was the vocalist and he recorded one more record besides all will be reveals I think 2007, he made one more record with the band, and later he disappeared. And now, of course, Diamond Head still go goes on. They just uh, re-recorded -re uh, Lightning Lightnings to the Nation. They just re-recorded that, you know, with the lineup of nowadays, and they add four cover songs. One is from Led Zeppelin, I think it's Immigrant Song. Uh, one is from uh, Metallica, No Remorse. And um, there was, there's two more that I don't remember right now. Anyway, just <laughs> I don't remember. They were cool too. Also, there's a great interviews here with 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 all the bands actually, but especially with the drummer Carl Wilcox. And Carl Wilcox came in the band before they recorded this album Dead and Progress. You know, in '93 he came in '92 in the band. And also, it's just great. Um, just, just a great release, you know. This is really a very energetic concert. They were playing a kind of an 25th anniversary uh, of the new wave of British heavy metal in the Astoria, you know, this place in London. And other bands play there too. And Diamond Head played there in front of two and a half thousand people, you know, in 2005. And I, and then I noticed a lot of young people there too. And I think that's very cool. A lot of young people. Of course, now they're not young anymore, you know, but. but Maybe they were 20 and now they are 35. I mean, it's like 15 years ago when this when this was recorded and when this came out. A great DVD. Okay, please check this DVD out if you can find it. You know, really good. Okay, stay metal, everybody.